Okay, it seems only the Roman uh, Roman Gladius has issues with the scabbard sticking out of your like hand and all that shit. Can you seriously not run? What the? There right. we go. Nineteen damage. Yeah, how I didn't think of that before. Maybe I just need to delete the uh, mod settings files. What's up, hard? How are you doing? Although I'll do that after I finish this playthrough. I don't want to fuck up something so the game stops working. It's getting weird though with all the. Look at look at that. God damn, why are they all aggro than me? I'm fairly sure it's it is the mod config files because uh, I think it has shoulder or, or shield on shoulder ability or some something like that with one of the mods that may be fucking it up. What? Who's left? Or uh, one of the mods I did play had like shield on shoulder abilities, or not abilities, but like you know, could be place a place a thing. Have it uh, shield you. This is probably that. This is one of the medieval mods, if I recall. Garrison in there again for some reason. Okay, let's finish that up, then we're gonna work on the workshop. I should have taken some of those units so we can plop them in there. Still get, didn't get another army forming. It looks like the Western Empire is at war with someone else. But the Southern Empire. Let's go. Get more exhaustion like. Okay, we still got time. Hopefully, they're gonna be distracted for a little bit more so I can snatch this up. This guy's gonna besiege that, isn't he? The 
what the fuck? What? What happened to him? Uh, I'll check that again. Uh, yeah, this was the first time we lost anyone. He's not on the list here for some reason. They lose the guy who's controlling that party. You pieces of shit. You can actually catch up to them, which is funny. Ah, fuck it. Also, even worse, it's a, a shitload of small armies going around, knowing the hell out of me. It's worse than one big one. Maybe I should wait there, see if you can bait some of them. Yeah, there we go. You fucked up now. Increase weapon accuracy, 0 0.06. Increase damage taken. Range that 0 0.1 left. I don't know why I even bother with those, to be honest. We don't need that. so much shit on the field. The first, first time ever we have more archers than skirmishers. Ah, I see. The Romans are not going to be an issue, it seems. Or the West ones. Most of their elite units are dead. This is all trash. This is so fucking unfair. <laughs> Oh, 
Zero losses. Another phalanx then, which we're probably not gonna use. Okay, hopefully the other armies are gonna go over there, try to stop that siege, so we can do this. Or not. Yeah, go, go besiege that, see what happens. look nice though. I keep missing that big blob is beyond me though. Never mind, we're gonna hit our own guy then. That works. Hitting my guys at this point. Their infantry line actually reached ours. Not a surprise. Hey Brown, what's up Deltinko? Kerylis on Twitch. I 
Let's actually don't pull these. We have a hundred. Oh god. Damn. How do I have that many troops? Because the special units in the mod do give you more troop capacity. Ooh. An upgrade. Impossible. No, it's... Eh, it does a little bit more damage, but the problem... Wait, this is a halberd. No? It's a lot shorter. Now let's keep it anyway, see what happens. Maybe switch to it. 109. Oh, come on, brown. What do you mean by brown? I'm not American. I'm not some J Sir James Brown. Kill this shit that we don't need. You'll see now uh, about the true capacity. The, the Sake Warlord gives you plus 15 party size, and I have 13 of them. I should only have four. So I have a bit over capacity. A little bit. Then uh, there's a whole bunch of policies that increase that, and buildings in the settlements increase your party size, I believe, too. Now to have warlords, you need to install the mod, which is entitled Eagle Rising. There's also Romans in the game, as you saw, we fought. Gauls up here, Carthaginians, and the uh, Dacians. Yeah, battle load is much better with mods. What happened to that other party? Oh, it disappeared. Lovely. Oh my fucking god. Hey, what the fuck are you waiting for? Looking at that 73 guys. Okay, I'm gonna out resolve this one, fuck it. Just stupid face. Oh look, a bigger army coming our way. can't always abuse that, they go besiege and then you can just wreck them. Let's switch to this, see what the difference is. I think one of the hostas you get for the Romans does actually act as a glaive as well, besides the spear, I believe. Maybe wrong. Stay here until we shoot and kill all these skirmishers. Yeah, the RTS camera mod is kind of a must these days. If you want to do anything tactical, worthwhile. You can look up Jackie Fish and uh, Resonant on YouTube. They do a, they do cover a lot of mods. Some of them even sh they sh do show how to install most of them. That's fairly easy. Camps getting destroyed apparently. Somehow, some way. Well, we could charge in, 
but our infantry is a lot shittier than theirs. And, uh, well... We are kind of the horse archer faction. Well, let me see about this. Okay, that, that, yeah, it does act like a gay lave. Oh, we can just slice and dice them all. Well, that's the first time I saw that enemy actually going into kind of a shield wall and studio formation. Tactics. told the uh, horse archers to actually attack or the archers to uh, horsemen to attack uh, the fucking skirmishers and they attack the infantry big line of shields yeah merry christmas jonas what's up you're just in time to see a miracle ai actually using a shield wall to studio formation instant switch to a melee weapon and block. Fuck you, game. I mean, if they're gonna do that, let's, like, hop over there for a second. Get away, I mean. Doesn't seem like our archers are in range. Maybe I should have my shield up, right? Should just blop them like behind the enemy lines, shoot at them. Hmm, look at that. They're actually camping. Once, smart choice. Bad, they're like too stupid, like actually turn around. So we can literally just stay behind them. Just can fire at them. This is why I didn't like uh, look for a glaive hitting the Romans with scooting shields, it's gonna be impossible. They got reinforcements in. Try 
trying to get them as they flee. They're actually turning back around. That's interesting. First time I saw that happen. Just charging. Ooh, that's quite a lot of them, actually. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Get these back. Rather, over here somewhere. Okay, we did lose some in this one, but eh, not that much. My party only lost 13 men. Whoops. Wait, wh why do we have surging line breakers? What? Kills not enough to make a companion. God damn, the faces look awful in this game. Horses. Yeah, we should be fine. Now, maybe, just maybe, we can actually get to the siege and do it. <laughs> or is there going to be another army going down that way? Rest of parlay already, which means we're probably not gonna get to destroy walls and attack it. We do have nine days of food though. Yeah, fuck it, if we lose the castle, it's not a big deal. 
there is an army going for it, I think. Can I mouse over the game? Thank you. We did actually destroy the walls. Command troops. Okay, looks like I can. Good. Fucking rocks, man. Jesus. Okay, never mind. Uh, apparently, I can't command troops anymore. to like remove all the config files for all the mods something's definitely wrong since the full release of the game okay i see the shorter one you can actually use as a glaive this one you can't Come on, horse. No, fuck. I mean, Grant, you're not supposed to do this. <laughs> Be the only moron doing this soon. God damn. Okay, now I show them. be the RTS camera fucking something up since I lose control sometimes sometimes I don't now they're all taken So let's switch to that house so we can use it as a glaive. Oh yeah, can they, yeah, I can dump prisoners in, but we can't make it... Uh, let me click these off. 
You can't make it dump troops in for some reason. I mean, it should do that by default. Apparently it does not. Okay, these are the highest here. Let's lock them. Dungeon. Get these guys in there. Wait, what? Okay. We got forty five optios ready to join. Course. Now, zero point zero percent chance to, be, to actually get peace with them. Everything's fine here, except everything got wrecked as well here. Uh, workshop is full. No. Engineering, trade, stewardship. Himiti Greenleaf, okay. one of these do I have as my engineer? Who's this? Ragur Greenleaf, okay. This guy is... Mizaim Dale or some shit like that. Let's try and save that. Let's disband some of these guys. Maybe one actually garrisons it for a second. Or I might, I might need to do this. So just so there's something in the garrison. Okay, look at that. Friend Hell actually helped us out for once. Okay, but I don't think I want any of the, the rest of this shit. So let's uh, disband everyone. Except our guys. We're gonna bring them somewhere else. I'll we'll stay here for a second.
We don't have a party leader, so it's not a big deal that they disbanded. Shinobs' castle. Wait, this guy is an owner of one, two, three, four castles, and he's a uh, governor of none of them. make peace with them but the clear war of Atania I think is what we're gonna do next or what that was what I was gonna do we got distracted by a war basically do that so we can take Gauss castle in this it's annoying it's not it's annoying the shit out of me well good day to <laughs> Yeah, good day to you too, Australian. I think that's an Australian accent, right? Sounds like it at least. second there I thought my horse was uh, lamed I have a feeling these guys are gonna run straight into the infantry like this yeah they kind of did Crossbowmen carry banners too? What the f- Why? I said that they were gonna lose a couple of because they're gonna run in and we lose exactly three. Three that ran into the motherfuckers. Ooh. Well, don't mind if I get my troops back.
Okay, here's this four of key. Splash, now I get some troops came back. Oh, look at that. Look. The governors resolved the issues and they actually used the garrison to do them. That's interesting. I guess you would want to like have some decent troops in the garrisons then. From time to time. Sometimes. Wait, the garrison here is still empty, what? Well, it, it, it was being besieged a lot, I guess. Makes sense. So having garrison recruiters going around in enemy territory is never good or never works out. How dare you? I think I'm gonna start out resolving some of these because they would be too easy. Or they would be actually annoying because it's in a village. Clan level 5. I think there was another policy we can enact so we can get even more troops. Let's see. Let's send marshals now. No more retinues. This is gonna be. This is gonna get ridiculous pretty quick. Maybe I should have done that before I kill those bastards. Yeah, maybe grab some more horse archers. What's the party party uh, composition like? Mounted to 58. Infantry 129. I feel like we need more horse archers. I'd say. F fuck six. Never mind, I guess. That's a decent amount of them, actually. Let's snipe the. Never mind. Let's not snipe these before they get there. Still over capacity on all those. Kinda nice having almost five well. A little bit shy of five hundred troops by yourself. Okay, this is this is actually the one map that the fuck is this? 
the fuck? Oh, look, the one map we can't really use our horse arches for. Well, we can, but, you know, the way I want them to use them. It's an invisible wall, of course, there's. Guess I'm just gonna have to plop them there and just use them as a static archer line. Not much we can do. Oh, look, the city's in the background. Actually, no, we're gonna place these, like, literally behind them. I think their cavs take more damage at this point than their infantry. And, uh, so we do have a lot of uh, legionaries. God, the FPS went down to shit. Wait a minute. That's an invisible wall game. Okay, reinforcements are coming out of the water, which is... What the fuck? When well, the game's lagging to shit. Yeah, we can't seem to hit them, so I'm gonna restart this. Fuck that shit. I'll resolve it. This game they regress some features like we don't have food spoiling anymore which you know it could be a good could have been good like if you have a certain amount of salt your food doesn't spoil or something like that of the Lord's prisoner and they still keep coming at us we are with their infinite amount of bullshittery that seems with me like disabling them from recruiting uh disabling them from recruiting uh, wanderers that would be awful What's up, Ahsoka? How are you doing? These guys doing good. Yeah, I'm fine. I think I think I got. I don't know why the scabbard is like fucking up. I think I. I can see this. 
think that maybe because there was a mod that had like shield on shoulder. It's a glitch. I think removing the config files for the mods would fix that, maybe. I'll have to do that on the next game or next mod I do. Check if that works. Or fixes it. It's getting annoying though. Ah, we need someone in the garrison to actually go recruit. Makes sense. Let's do like 10 at first. That part is probably gonna get sniped. Making peace with the Western Empire, yes. Fuck off, this warmonger. I should have decapitated him, to be honest. While well, I had a chance. Granted, his clan would be pissed as all hell. Okay, now, finally, can I get rid of the fucking blight on my land here? Let's see. Never mind, I guess. The fuck is this? Could wipe his clan off the face of the earth. Yeah, that will, that will require a lot of head chopping and a lot of chasing all around with small parties, which... I think I did only once, and it wasn't worthwhile. And he, it, the, it, his exact clan, too. It took too long. Way too fucking long. Okay, let's disband these for a hot second. Wait, did something rebel? No? Well, hopefully... The bat God damn, the Batanias are expanding. Stinking goals, I should say. Then I got more troop capacity, which is just lovely. All right, let me pick up more horse archers here, I guess. Sure, let's pick up the Lancers as well. Horse Prince, actually. That's the higher tier. A hundred and eighty-three skirmishers. 